Because if you're an expert in something, that means you're an expert in the past. Um, so if ever you want to find a new way to do something or challenge your thinking or challenge your model, you've got to look at people who do not have years and years of expertise because they will bring the fresh thinking. Our digital program is centered around how do we get the insight from um, what many people perceive as just the threat and look at how we can harness it as, a, as an opportunity to transform our internal capability but also create new capabilities for our clients and for our staff. Within our organization, we're focused on three key areas um, across our digital program, one of which is bucketed into a classic digital transformation program, which centers around um, creating more and more self-service capability for our clients, building out our channels, focused on an internal transformation exercise um, to get our staff and clients to be more comfortable with um, more of this emerging technology that's out there. Um, and bucketed into it is, is a strengthening use of um, data, um, analytics, um, social media, as is within most organizations. The second pillar that we're focused on is um, around all of our fintech activity. Um, so whether that is scouting into this large ecosystem uh, for the purposes of partnering, acquisitions, um, or investing. And the final part of what we're focused on at the moment is looking for opportunities to create as many new digital first or digital only businesses that are still focused on Investec's core philosophy, core client base and core competencies um, to um, hopefully highlight some new opportunities. The easiest way to measure the, the success of our digital transformation is to look at how our clients are responding to what we're doing. Um, and, our, and, and that's not just around the channels um, being enhanced for them to use, but also how they're responding to what's happening within the organization. Because digital transformation is not just about the direct client interaction, but also what's happening internally through our core platforms, our core processes and our core systems. So as long as we're providing better services to our clients, um, they're staying with us, they're doing more with us, they're recommending us to more and more of their peers and their friends and their colleagues, um, that's probably one of the best successes we could have. We're quite fortunate. We don't have a branch infrastructure to worry about, so we're not looking at reducing footfall. Um, we don't charge people for the utilization of digital platforms. We're really making this available as a channel of choice for our clients. And the more that they choose to use um, a self-service um, option from Investec um, is the best indicator for us of how well this is going. Companies in our industry are all migrants into the digital era. So very much digital immigrants versus um, a lot of the, the startups and most of the big technology companies we all reference at the moment are native, you know, born in this era. Everything that they've created around their business models and their operating models is really centered around technology and the use of data, um, which is a new skill that we've had to learn. So when we sit and think about what are the challenges we need to get through, the first of which is how do we get people comfortable with the use of technology, how do we get people comfortable thinking about technology-centered opportunities, and how do we get people comfortable utilizing data? Um, I know the, the old CEO of Netscape had a wonderful quote where he said, if we have the data, we should use and trust the data. If we don't have the data and all we have is opinions, well then you're going to go with mine. Um, and that's certainly not the route that we want to go, because we live in an era where we are flooded with information, but how do we shift hearts and minds to get people to be more comfortable um, with utilizing that, um, its sources, its processing, um, and how we can access more and more of it, because it's a, it's a literal gold mine. So I, I don't think there's any silver bullets in the industry at the moment. I think every six to nine months, you're gonna have a new wave of technologies that will be able to make your organization better, that will be able to deliver a better experience for your clients. It's about being very selective. You can very easily get caught up in um, this magpie syndrome where every new shiny thing is something you feel you need to run after. Um, we're being very selective around what we choose to implement and what we're using as the input is really our clients' feedback. We don't have um, millions of clients, we're a very niched organization, so we really take in the feedback from our clients and we look at how we can um, meet their needs, um, either proactively or reactively, and then we would make technology selections based on those. Our aim at the moment by running through these three pillars of our digital program is to try and get digital to be part of a core value of our culture. So everyone to think about how to compete in a digital era, how to change how we think about business models, client experience, product design um, with um, these new digital concepts and emerging technologies at the heart of what we do. There's continuous innovation that's taking place. It's the very nature of what humans are good at, is looking for ways to do things better. Um, inevitably, they will come across these things and the experts in a particular field, if they're not responsive enough, 
will be challenged by new competitors. I think financial services is seeing that over the past probably seven or eight years with this boom in fintech, um, where a combination of what's happened with post-2008, increased regulation, the advent of new technology, the ubiquity of, of mobile and internet connectivity um, has resulted in a whole bunch of new players coming in, all aiming to disrupt um, the financial services sector and initially with an aim to eat the lunch of the big incumbents.